hey guys what is up how's it going how you doing how you been and if you're new hello to you my name is Christina and in today's video I will be taking you to the grocery store to see what I normally buy I don't know why crazy is making that sound but I'm going to show you guys what I normally buy show you some healthy substitutes and what I get for the week so to start off the right way to go to the grocery store so you don't get anything that you're not supposed to get you have to have a list so in a second I will show you guys my list right now I'm gonna have some coffee with my mom and crazy so once I'm done with that I will show you guys what I have on my list so if you guys are not interested in hearing me speak all about my food and <laughs> basically what I get uh, because I'm pretty sure this is gonna take a while <laughs> I will put the time where the grocery shopping starts somewhere on the screen uh, and then you can skip to it <laughs> all right guys now that i'm ready for the day i'm going to break down my grocery list for you guys so the easy way to do it is to basically put it into sections put breakfast snacks lunch dinner that way you see everything clearly and you get you're getting exactly what you want for the day so what I have on my list I have it written down here in my notebook um, so for breakfast I get eggs and egg whites so I have the option I'm not limited to pick one or the other because sometimes I do like to just have egg whites and spinach and sometimes I will incorporate the yolk so it just depends on what I'm feeling uh, sweet potatoes love me some sweet potatoes <laughs> avocado milk or whatever milk substitute you use this this is just my list okay guys this is what I do <laughs> um, coconut water for smoothies um, <clears throat> I've been recently getting into putting coconut water or organic fruit juice like apple juice grapefruit juice into my smoothies because it just tastes really good uh, water because your girl's trying to increase the water intake more and more each day <laughs> tea my mom and I recently got into drinking tea so we've incorporated that into our water intake it just makes it more fun more interesting like oh yeah what kind of tea am I gonna have today so that's what we're gonna have coffee and now we're gonna jump into the snacks so for snacks I have apples bananas cucumbers baby carrots and watermelon so this is just stuff that everything I have here on my list is just what I'm getting because I need it now like I have things in my pantry that I don't need like oatmeal and things like that like I have things for snacks like my PB fit or peanut butter coconut um, to incorporate with my snacks so this is just stuff that I need right now so <clears throat> I'm gonna try and incorporate more fruits into our diet because more than often we have a lot of protein bars or um, vegetables so we're trying to incorporate more fruits for our snacks <laughs> and now moving on to lunch if you guys follow me on social media you see that recently I have posted cauliflower pizza more than once <laughs> so I'm guilty but that's on my list I really enjoy it it's low in calories it's really good for you and it tastes like you're having something bad but you're not so that's why it's on the list protein packs if you have watched a previous video it was uh, what I eat in a day you will see that I have mentioned the protein packs I will put it right here right there uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like in the grocery store if you don't know what I'm talking about <laughs> but they have different variations it's good for when you're really lazy come on we're always lazy I'm, I'm not gonna lie sometimes I get lazy when it comes to cooking so <laughs> that's a good substitute for when you're lazy another thing I have here is chicken so I like to mix it up sometimes I will have the protein pack with chicken or chicken with sweet potato I like to change it up so chicken is a must I love me some lean protein so chicken <laughs> and now for dinner so 
here's how my, I don't want to say diet. Here's how I eat. So for dinner, I don't eat right before I go to the gym because I've done most of my eating throughout the day. I eat a lot throughout the day. So I don't eat before the gym because it makes me feel sick because I've eaten so much throughout the day. So what I do is I am very minimalistic when it comes to dinner. I will get like, um, what I have on the list is chicken breast, protein bars, and protein cookies. So because I've eaten so much, throughout the day. What I will do is, right before my second workout at night, because I do two workouts a day, <laughs> right before my second workout at night, I will make a protein shake, and I will have a chicken breast or a protein bar, something minimalistic because I don't want to get <laughs> sick because I have so much in my stomach, <laughs> and I will hit the gym. After the gym, I will come back, and if I'm really, really hungry, I will have a meal or like consisted of chicken because i like chicken um or i will have a protein bar or something of that sort so that's why it's minimalistic this is what i do this is just how i eat um you guys don't have to follow exactly what i'm doing i'm just showing you guys what works for me how throughout my fitness journey what i've learned what works for my body and then we're gonna hit gnc and we're gonna get some CLAs. I know, I know, I know. I was supposed to do a video that um, talks about why I use CLAs, BCAAs, protein, all that stuff, and it will be coming. I will film a video on <laughs> why all of those things are important to me and why I take them. So stay tuned for that. But without further ado, let's go to the grocery store. So if I didn't mention uh, today's Easter, and of course my mom and I decided to come to Walmart on Easter when it's packed. <laughs> So when, my mom, <laughs> so when my mom and I go to Walmart, we have to really be like serious because we get, <laughs> we get very distracted easily. Last time we came here for one item one item we were here for two hours <laughs> see this is why me and my mom can't come to walmart this is not the food section <laughs> because I did tell you guys the list, so I don't want to bore you guys. I have two packs of the chimichurri chicken for the week because it is me and my mom. And then I have the steamed sweet potatoes. This is just easier when it comes in a pack like this because you just pop this in the microwave, one and done, fast, quick, easy. And then I have four boxes of the cauliflower pizza. You're probably like, what the heck? You don't need four boxes. But uh, I do work out twice a day, so I just like eat so much. So this is just in case. I'm just gonna skip over the dog food. A giant watermelon for snacking on. How many packs do I have here? One, two, three. I have four packs of protein. So um, in the store, my mom and I thought that this said chicken and spinach, but it's chickpeas and spinach protein pack. It's by Bird's Eye. They didn't have what I normally get, which is the quinoa and um, cranberry spinach. So I, I substituted for these two, which is the Southwest style and the chickpeas. I have baby carrots, just one bag of that. That'll be enough for my mom and I. 
My mom drinks peppermint tea, so it's organic peppermint tea. We have some shrimps. That wasn't on the list, but, you know, just in case we decided to change it up throughout the week. And these weren't on the list as well. This is just a snack. If you guys have never had Harvest Snaps before, these are so good. They're a good snack. I mean, um, you know, if you don't want to be bloated the next day, I don't <laughs> recommend having it. It doesn't have a lot of sodium. 75 milligrams. It's not a lot, but, you know, it's not a little. So don't eat that if you don't want to be bloated, like if you have an event or anything. The coconut water that I mentioned, uh, I already have two cans in the fridge, so we just got two more. I have So Delicious and Gala Apples. So this is for more of a crunchy, um, if you don't know like about apples, <laughs> this is more crunchy and this is more soft. This is um, a lighter sweet kind of vibe and then this one has more, not as tart, but it's like, it's sweet but just not as sweet as this one. So I have two kinds just in case, you know, for variation. Coffee, as I mentioned, this wasn't on the list as well. It's just sauce for um, if we're gonna have spaghetti squash, which I will show you in a second. I'm gonna walk on over. So, eggs, like I mentioned, egg whites. These are just the all whites, 100% egg whites. Make sure when you get egg whites, it says 100% egg whites on there. And muscle milk, you saw me mention this in the store. Regular milk. I have 2% milk. I always get 2% milk. It just tastes good. It's better for you. Um, cucumbers. Here's the spaghetti squash. So this wasn't on the list, but this is such a good thing to have in the house. Uh, you can either put this in the oven or the microwave. And it's so quick. You cut it open and bada bing, bada boom. It's spaghetti squash. You add sauce to it. You can add meat you can add shrimp uh, carrots whatever you want to this it's like such a simple thing but you can make it so complex and you can get so filled by it so that's why we have it we have some avocados they're not all the way ripe but we can just let it sit and let that ripen bananas again it was sad that they were all green I love bananas they're my favorite <laughs> But we're going to wait until these get a little bit more yellow, more ripened. And then we have two cases of water. These are the 28 packs. So we have two cases because we drink so much water. It goes by so quickly. And we needed two cases of that. So this is everything, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a big thumbs up. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, and I freaking love you guys. Never forget that you're better today than you were yesterday. Mwah!